Hello, guys. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Yes. Good evening. How are you? How do you feel today? So tired. We went to be on Friday. Okay, so yes, I imagine, right? But we, we are um on Wednesday, right? Yeah. So tomorrow is Thursday and then we are on Friday and we have the weekend. So we are almost there. Right. So let's see. And what did you do? Salvador Bernal, how are you? How do you feel today? Did you have a really busy day or relaxing? Good evening. Good evening. I, my day was very tired. Tiring as well? Okay. In this moment, <laughs> I have lunch. No, sorry. I yeah. have You're dinner. having lunch. Oh, dinner. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Yeah. 8, 8 p.m. Well, yes, it's kind of late already, right? Okay, guys, so welcome once again. Welcome to our class. All right, so we're going to start with today's class. And let's see, we are going to start with today's agenda. So we are going to start with the warm up, then we are going to move to grammar. And today we are going to cover unit two, making suggestions. Okay, then we are going to move to the speaking time, reading time, and we have a game at the end. Okay. But let's see, because today we are going to focus on speaking, okay? We are going to speak a lot today. So the first thing that we are going to do is that we are going to play, right? Because I can see that some of you are going to connect late, okay? So we are going to start by playing a stop the bus, okay? So we are going to play with item in the kitchen, food, and verb in the past, okay? Verb in past, item in the kitchen, food, and verb in the past. So I'm going to give you the letter and you need to look for the item in the kitchen, the food, and the verb in the past that start with that letter, okay? So that's what we are going to do. So the first letter that we are going to play with is, okay, first letter, okay? Letter F, you have one minute, okay? Once you are done, please let me know and say, teacher, stop the bus, okay? You have one minute. Item in the kitchen, food, and verb in the past with the letter F. F, F, F. Okay, 25 seconds. You're done? Who is done? Who has all of them? Nobody? Item in the kitchen? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening, Raul. Me, eating in kitchen with if. Uh -huh. Fall. Okay. Uh, food. Uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. I forgot. <laughs> oh my God, Raul. Okay. Hmm. Somebody else with the letter F. Me. Okay. Uh, good evening. Good evening, uh, Fork. Fork. Uh, billet. Okay. And. Billet, pero no sé cómo se pronuncia. Billet. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. And. Verb in the past? Filler. 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 Uh, 
lo voy a escribir. <risa> es como llenado. Ok, let me see. Oh, ok. Field. 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 Okay. Yes. Ok, yes, very good. Yeah, you got it. Perfect. Ok, Rafael, one point. Ok, next letter. All right. So, item in the kitchen, food, and verb in the past. Remember item. Ok, item. Ok, uh, with the letter S. Easy. Piece of cake. Ok, one minute. But if you have it, tell me. Stop the bus. With the letter S. Me, stop the bus. Okay, perfect. Yes, Raúl. In, in kitchen, salt. Yes. Uh, food. Uh, salmon. Yes. Salmon or salmon. Salmon. Sa, salmon. Salmon, okay. And the verb in past, said. Said. Okay, said. All right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Okay, guys. Next letter. Okay. With the letter, let me see. Mm, o. Letter O. Okay. Yes. Who has the answers? With the letter O, item in the kitchen, food, and verb in the past? Uh -huh. yeah. Onion. Onion, okay. Ah, the, the food, the item. Item? Onion slide. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't remember. Uh, um, let's see. Raul, repeat after me and say item. Item. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the verb in the past. Let me see. Oh my God, verbs. Mm -hmm. Today we are going to use verbs. Yes. Okay. Um, opened, observed. Mm -hmm. um, Food could be oil as well. Yes. Okay. All right. Perfect. So, guys, let's move. Well, in this case, um, there is a tie, but we are going to move. Okay. So, let me go ahead and just delete this. Let me clear this. Okay. So, we are going to start, and we are going to start with conversation time. Okay. So, what did you drink this morning? Tea, coffee, milk? Do you always eat vegetables and fruits? Why or why not? 
How often do you eat bread? Mm -hmm. Do you like seafood? Why or why not? We are going to start with conversation time. Okay, so I'm going to move you to different breakout rooms. The ones that cannot participate, please let me know. Okay, let me know. I know that Nelson, um, you are here just as a listener today. And let me see who else. I'm going to check if you have sent messages to me, okay? But right now, I'm, I'm going to move you to different breakout rooms. So please, guys, open uh, the class. And we are going to practice with those four questions for around five to six minutes. And then we are going to come back, okay? So let's move. So let me create the rooms. Okay, here we go. Walter, Andrea. Yeah. Hello. Hi, Susana. How are you? I'm fine. What about you? I'm good. Mm -hmm. so okay. We can practice now. Rosa, are you there? Yes, I am. Okay. Practice. So. Uh, if you want, I can ask you. I can hear you. If you want, I can ask. Um, teacher, I told you, well, I request for help because I lost the internet oh. and, and I'm not gonna use my, my camera today. My baby's really sick and I'm gonna, yeah, but I'm going to do the activities and all of that, but I'm not going to have the camera on. Okay, got it. Okay, okay thank cool. you. Thank you. All thank right. You. Thank you. Okay, so Carlos Eduardo and Carlos Arias, then we are going to start with the conversation time. We just have four questions, okay? So I need to start practicing those. Okay, so Jensi, if you're busy, it's okay, all right? So Carlos eh, and Car oh, Carlos Arias. Okay. Um, okay, Carlos, what do you do? What do you drink this morning? Tea, coffee, milk? Uh, I drink coffee in the morning. Okay, I drank. Drunk. Okay. I drank coffee in the morning. Okay. Or oh, at morning, yes. teacher. I'm sorry. In the morning or at morning? Oh, in the morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I drank as well uh, coffee, but sometimes I drank uh, water. Okay. Do you uh, if you do want you to always you Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you always eat vegetable and uh, fruits why or why not? Sometimes I eat the vegetable and fruit uh, in the lunch. At lunch. Uh, at lunch, I'm sorry. At lunch. Uh, because, uh, well, uh, the vegetable is part of the salad. In that case, I eat a vegetable. And fruit depends because sometimes in, in the afternoon I, I buy uh, some banana or apples. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, good. Thank you. Um, the vegetable not like more. 
for me. Oh, I don't uh, like I don't like fruit. vegetables. Mm -hmm. I don't like vegetables and fruit. Yeah. Apple, grape, uh, banana, peach, mm -hmm. and orange. Mm -hmm. Just like. Okay. And how often do you eat bread? Uh, bread is like me for no more. Oh, but how often do you eat bread? How often? Usually how often? sometimes uh, in the morning, just in the afternoon, at night. How often? Mm, bread is... Twitch more. Um, twice a month? Twice a month. Twice. Yes, twice a month. Okay. Mm. And you? Okay, in my case, uh, in the afternoon, uh, I eat a seed bread uh, three times a week. Mm -hmm. And always I eat bread uh, at night with the, with the dinner. Mm -hmm. With the dinner. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. yes, I always, maybe... Uh, zero point twenty five cents to, the, to bread. <laughs> okay. Do you do you like seafood? Um, yes, I like seafood, but uh, I cannot eat. Uh, drink. Sorry. I drink some some tea, but mint tea. And I Mint put uh, uh, honey, uh, mm -hmm. very delicious, or I don't know how to say manzanilla, but tea, manzanilla tea with, with sugar also is very delicious. Yes. Well, the, the next question is, do you always eat? Vegetable and fruits. Why or why not? Yes, I do. Always, every day. Yeah, me too. The three meals I eat vegetables. Right. Well, today I I I I, I made a, a salad with vegetable and tomatoes. <laughs> Uh, I always uh, eat a vegetable, but uh, in the soup. Chamomile. Okay. Okay. Chamomile. 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 Yes. Okay. Uh, Glenda, repeat after me and say vegetables. Vegetables. Yes. Very good. The next question is, how often do you eat bread? Uh, what kind of, of seafood do you like? Um, in the in the month, uh, two, uh, three or four, four days eat the seafood. Okay, what, what, what kind? Um, for example, um, on my Friday or, or on family, on occasionally visit the restaurant and uh, uh, eat the uh, seafood. Seafood, well, my you like favorite. Fish, shrimps, other weed, lots of seafood. Whole seafood, feet, <laughs> and favorite is the, the script. Script? Oh, okay. I, I don't know why. What is the script? Well, I think that um, I think that he said crabs. 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 Ah, crabs. 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 I think that okay. you mean crabs, like like cangrejos. No, husband. Yeah. Crabs. Yeah, crabs. So, I, yeah. And so, <laughs> yes. Yeah. 
es, es en la mariscada. Uh, I know a, a place. And drink a beer and drink a beer and so mariscada is beautiful. It's delicious. Ah, <laughs> it's with a michelada. <laughs> okay, I am hungry now. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> Yeah, okay. and how about you, Salvador? Do you like the seafood? I, I have a dude. Seafood is comida de mar or? or? Yes. Uh, I like, no sé cómo es camarones, me gusta mucho. Shrimps. 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 Mm. Shrimps. Dígalo. Shrimps. 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 Eh, quiero, ah. casi, casi lo digo como decir stream de cuando está viendo okay. en vivo algo. Well, no, not exactly, okay. It is like this. Se voy a escribir aquí, okay. Um, mm -hmm. Where is it? Aquí. Okay. Shrimps. 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 I think the 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 words with a s and h the first is a little difficult to to Spanish mm -hmm. people. Yes, that is correct. Of course, right. So yeah, you I have a problem. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh huh. You have a problem with. I have a problem, but with the X. Oh really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's another one, right? That sometimes is difficult. Yes. Okay. So let's move. Okay. I mean, I think that you you finish, right? So. Yeah. I, yeah you're done. Uh, yeah. Only. Only, yo solo faltaba. Oh, Cristo, Rafael. Yeah, so well, yeah, I, tell us. Well, I like the seafood. You uh, like the seafood? Okay. Yeah. And my favorite seafood, I think, is the shrimps and the lobsters. Lobsters and shrimps. Yeah. Okay, very good. Those are delicious. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, let's go back to the main room. Okay, let's go back. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Um, well, Carlos Arias, are you there? Yes, you should right here. Thank you. Okay, Carlos, tell us, what did you drink this morning? I drank in morning coffee every day. Okay, no. This morning, I mean, you drank. No, no, sorry, sorry. Uh, yes. Okay, you drank it. it. It's done already. Okay. Every day, okay. whenever you do the activity, every single day, but that is present. But in this case, we are talking about this morning. Okay. Okay. Very good. So, Anna, do you always eat vegetables and fruits? Why or why not? Yes, I I try to eat. Basil and fruits mm, every day. Why? Because it, maybe I like and have a vitamin and is healthy. Okay, okay, very good. Uh, Susana, how often do you eat bread? I ate bread every day. In the morning and at night, every night. Okay, so I eat, okay, I eat. eat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, eight, I, simple past. Uh -huh. okay. All right, do you like seafood, Susana? No, I don't like it. You don't like it? Why not? No. <laughs> because the, the smell, smell. smell. The smell mm. is so, I don't know. Disgusting, horrible, horrible disgusting. <laughs> yeah. You don't like it. Okay, perfect. All right, you don't yeah. like it. 
Okay. So let me ask um, Raul, what did you drink this morning? Uh, today I I drank uh, coffee. Yeah, I remember coffee. <laughs> okay. All right. And do you always eat vegetables and fruits? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I always eat. Oh, oh well. I try to to eat to eat uh, to to eat. Uh, to eat vegetable and fruits every day. Every day. What? Every day. Every day. Uh -huh. Um. No, every day, but maybe twice in a week. In okay. yeah, in a week. Okay, perfect. What about you, Glenda? How often do you eat bread? Um, I never eat bread because mm -hmm. I have a, a lot of problem with my hair. Okay. And so is the doctor said don't eat bread. Okay. And do you always eat vegetables and fruits? Yes. The three meals I eat. More vegetable than fruit. Than fruits. fruits. Mm -hmm. And what do you drink this morning? Tea, coffee, milk, juice? I drink uh, coffee and green tea. Okay, you with try. The water, with okay, the water. Coffee and green tea, okay. And do you like seafood? Yes, I like it. Okay, all right. But I only eat seafood when I go to the beach. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right, excellent. Um, all right, let's continue and let's move to the book, all right? So, Anna, please be Sarah and Susanna Walter. Okay, I need uh, two volunteers to read this. So, Anna, Sarah, Susanna Walter. Okay. Uh, we need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train or staff. What do you propose? First, members need to know the correct way to present the menu. Would it be better if chapter one is about how servers should grade the customer and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, it would be better if we include, include the servers, the servers dress, code and appearance in the first chapter okay very good so now pronunciation let's focus on pronunciation first and this phrase the one that is in bold all right so wouldn't 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 okay wouldn't it be better wouldn't good. it be better mm -hmm. okay and then we also have greet Greet. 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 Excellent. And we also have appearance. 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 Yes. Okay. The chapter? Yes. The first chapter. What is the meaning of what chapter? Capitulo. Capitulo. Very good. Capitulo. Chapter means capitulo. Okay. So right now we are going to start with grammar. Okay, as you can see, we have two structures right here that probably are new for you or probably not. Um, those, for example, wouldn't it be better and it would be better, both of them. But we are going to cover more, more information about different structures, okay? So guys, um, this unit is about basically the manual procedures in a restaurant, okay? But we are going to move to grammar right now. so. We are going to study would better, okay? And would prefer, uh, it would be good if, all of those structures, okay? So let's pay attention. A would better is used to express a strong advice or a suggestion. Yeah. What is the meaning of would better? Uh, what do you think? 
what comes to your mind? Would oh, yes. Yes. Estaría. Estaría, right? Very good. Um, if we say, well, the structure, as you can see right here, is subject plus would be better. Would be better. That is the structure, okay? So subject plus would be better plus the infinitive. And we have examples. A hostman help us reading the two examples that we have right here. It would be better to let employees decide what process to check, to shape. Yes. I would be better to let a manager take care of the situation. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So it would be better to let employees decide what processes to change. So it would be better means sería mejor que. Okay, sería mejor que or es mejor que. It would be better to let employees decide what processes to change. Sería mejor que dejáramos a los empleados decidir qué procesos eh, se deberían cambiar. Mm -hmm. So now, then we also have, it would be better to let a manager take care of the situation. Sería mejor que dejáramos que un gerente yeah. Tomar el control de la situación. Se encargara de la situación. Ya. Yeah. Would be better. Then we also have other expressions to provide suggestions all or alternatives. Ya. Yeah. So we have, would you prefer, wouldn't it be better to it would be good if, and we have one example. It would be good if we had a professional to complete the manual, okay? So we have those expressions. Now we are going to cover one by one, okay? We have different structures, yeah? As you can see, we have subject plus would prefer plus two, plus the verb and the complement. And we have, I would prefer to eat salad. And what is the meaning of would prefer? If you say, I would prefer to eat salad, what are you saying? Preferiría. Uh -huh. Preferiría comer Ensalada. Yo preferiría comer ensalada. Preferencias. Preferences. Ok. I would prefer to go to the movies. Preferiría ir al cine. I would prefer to buy a cell phone instead of a laptop. Yeah. I would prefer to. Yeah. That is the structure. Teacher, and can I say, I would prefer eating salad with the ING? No. That would be incorrect because of grammar rules. The structure says that we need to use subject, would prefer to verb plus complement. Okay? Then we have the second structure. Sería mejor que, right? So, subject would be better to verb plus complement. It would be better to go to the cinema. Será mejor o sería mejor que fuéramos al cine. It would be better to buy more bread because they eat a lot. Será o sería mejor que compráramos más pan. ¿Sí? 
Whenever you give advice, whenever you give suggestions. Yeah. It would be better to, and you say your idea. Now, with the third structure, the one that we have right there, guys, we have subject, would be good, okay, or any other adjective, would be nice, would be better, okay, could be, if subject, verb in past plus complement, and we have it would be nice if we had a supervisor in that area. What are we expressing with this idea and with this structure? Because this structure is really common, okay? So it would be nice if we had a supervisor in that area. Sería bueno que tuviéramos a un supervisor en esa área. Teacher, but that is past. This is present. The structure is in past. But this is a conditional. This is a conditional sentence. Okay? So, the structure, you can see in past, but this is present. Okay? It would be nice if we had a supervisor in that area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, do you have any doubt till here? What questions do you have? If you don't have any question or any doubt, I need you to please create one sentence with this structure one sentence with this one and one sentence with this one right now here individually individualmente okay and send it here to the chat here in zoom okay i'll give you around four minutes think about your ideas if you have questions ask okay if you have questions ask You can say the verb go is I would prefer to go to yes the beach the beach okay yes. mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. I would prefer to go to the church. Yes, very good, Susana. I would, mm, I don't know to everyone. I don't know. I don't see your name. But the one that says, I would to prefer to buy a motorcycle. No. Revise la estructura. Fíjese cómo va la estructura. Okay. Uh, I would like to go to the beach. Wilbur, yes, but remember period, el punto final en la oración. Okay, good. Okay, sorry. Don't worry. Okay, it's okay. Just don't forget. I would prefer to buy a motorcycle. Yes, I don't see that one. I, I don't see your name. I just see it to everyone. But I don't uh, see it. it's me. Carlos Eduardo, okay. Oh, so weird. We don't see your name. Husman, um, mm, I will be better or. Sorry. It, it, sorry. Mm -hmm. I would prefer to drive a motorcycle. Rafael, yes. Just the period at the end. Rafael. 
it would be better. It's just for me, my opinion, or I can say she would. No, it would be no. better is, is the, the correct structure. Just for your yeah. opinion with it. Okay. okay, okay. Correct. I would be better to leave. I would be. Mm. Oh no, that one, it. It would be better to live in a small town. Yes, it. I would prefer to sleep early. Yes, Salvador. Very good. Okay, Raul, let's see. Um, I would prefer to drink a coffee. Mm, I would prefer to drink coffee without A and period at the end. Okay, you are missing the period. Let me see. It will be better to go to the beach, period. It will be awesome if we had a PlayStation right now, period. But they are okay, but not that okay because you're getting at the period, okay? I will prefer to listen to music. Yes, very good. She will, uh, in this case, it will be better to change the internet provider. Okay, yes, Carlos. Okay, it would be better, okay? She know, it, it will be better, okay? Your opinion, it will be better. Glenda, I would prefer to go, okay. I would prefer to go to the supermarket tomorrow, period. It would be better to take notes before, okay, before doing the activity, before doing, to do no, before doing with the ING. It would be better if we had a, a training in that area, okay? Training, mm -hmm. but very good, okay? Instead of a capacitación, we are going to say training, uh, Wilbur. It would be better if Pedro had the car key, period, Wilbur, period. It would be better to walk to the office. Yes, Salvador. Okay, Ana Lorena. I would prefer to go to Roatan tomorrow. Yes. It would be better to drive a new car. Yes. It would be nice if we, it would be nice if I had a vacation on March. Perfect. Excellent. You added the period. Everything is perfect. Susana, it would be better to dance with my friends. Perfect. It would be better, it would be better healthy if I ate salad. Uh, Blanca, it would be nice or it would be better, okay? Mm. In this case, you need to remove better and you need to leave. It will be healthy. It will be healthy if I ate salad in that, in that way, yeah. I have, I have a question. Yes. In that case, um, it would be nice if we had a supervisor in that area. We change for a negative sentence. Uh, we, how could be the sentence? Oh yeah, it wouldn't be nice. Uh, for example, it would be nice if we don't have a supervisor in that area, for example, I don't know. Yes. You can say it. Yeah. yeah. You can use negatives. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be nice if we um, if we didn't have in that case with the uh, simple past, okay? Because this this one is past. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it should be the didn't or yeah didn't in the negative. Then I will be better to drink. No, it will be better to drink orange juice. Period. Los puntos y finales, guys. I can see that um, you are, yeah, you are missing the, uh, the period. It would be nice if we had a large vacations. Oh, yes. That is correct. Indeed. Yes. Blanca, it would be better to drive my car. It would be nice if we had our own car. Susana, perfect. It would be nice if we learned English very fast. 
Excellent. I would prefer to buy a car. It would be better to drink water. It would be good if we dance at night. Period. Los puntos. Period, period. Okay. I can see that most of you forgot those. Rose, I would prefer to travel in the morning. It would be better. It would be better. Uh -huh. It would be better to, to buy a new car. It would be, mm, it would be nice. Okay. It would be nice. It would be nice if we. Yeah, number three. Um, I think that the idea is not uh, well expressed. In Carlos Arias, it would be better to go to the festival. Okay. Yeah. To go to the festival. Perfect. Um, okay. What questions do you have about this, guys, right now? What questions do you have? Mm -hmm. What doubts? What questions? In the first and, oh. sorry, in the second and the third uh, structure, yes. we only use it, no other subject. Correct. So in this case, just eat. Right now, just eat. Uh -huh. okay. Yes. Thank you. Perfect. Okay. Any other doubt? No. Okay, guys. I'm going to take the attendance. Okay. I'm going to take the attendance. So please say present if you hear your name. So here we go. Ana Lorena Lovato. Present. Thank you. Andrea Sofia Benitez. Andrea. No. Blanca Jennifer Torres. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. No. Carlos Eduardo Torres. Present. Yes. Eh, Carlos Francisco Arias. Present. Thank you. César Homero Amaya. César. Yes, I, I see that you are there. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present teacher. Thank you. Eulice Torres. Eulice? Well, uh, yeah, I haven't seen Eulice today. Fatima Noemi Umaña. Yes. Present. Glenda Josefina Toledo. Present. Thank you. Eh, Jose Salvador Bernal. Salvador. I'm here. Thank you. Hostman Atilio Serrano. Present. Thank you. Eh, Juan Francisco Salmerón. Karen Lisset Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you, Karen. Catherine Indira Velasquez. Catherine. Marlon Oswaldo Paniagua. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Rafael Alexander Serna. Present teacher. Thank you. Raul Ernesto González. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa del Carmen Enriquez. Present. Thank you. Susana Milena Cruz Reyes. Yeah. Present. Thank you. There's on right on the chat. Uh, Walter. Yes. Thank you. Oh. Walter. David. Mm. Wilber Alberto. Present. Thank you. And Jensen. Present. I'm here. Yes. Okay. Perfect, guys. All right. Let's move. Now, okay. We had sentences, but we also have, we also have questions. Yeah. So with the questions, we have would plus subject plus preferred to plus the verb plus the complement. And we say, would you prefer to drink soda or tea? Mm -hmm. So would you prefer to drink soda or tea? Mm -hmm. And then we also have negative, negative uh, questions. Wouldn't it be plus adjective, okay, plus two and a complement. So if we say, wouldn't it be nice to go to Santa Ana? 
¿no sería bueno que fuéramos a Santa Ana? Negative. Wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be better to go to San Miguel? Wouldn't it be better to complete the report? ¿No sería mejor que termináramos el report? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you prefer to drink soda or tea? I would prefer to drink tea. Okay. Why? Because it is healthier than drinking soda, of course, right? Mm -hmm. So then, uh, those two are questions. Positive, negative. It's like saying, no sería mejor que, o no sería bueno. Okay. So let's see. Now I need to create one question using the first structure and then another one using the second structure. Okay. I'll give you three minutes okay, for you to complete that and send it to the chat, please. Would you prefer to drink tea or milk? Wouldn't it be um, wouldn't it be amazing to wouldn't wouldn't it be amazing to go to to go to Peru without that? Mm -hmm. Would you prefer to drink coffee or milk? Yes. Would you prefer to play video games or soccer? Yes. Would they prefer to eat? Uh -huh. Chicken or meal oh, uh, uh, or, or, or meat, probably. Chicken or meat. Would you prefer to uh, visit Guatemala or Costa Rica? Yes. Wouldn't it be better to see? Oh, wouldn't it be better to see a movie tomorrow? Okay. Wouldn't it be good to go to the beach? Yes, Rafael. Would you prefer to go to the park or cinema? Yes, Holy Postman. Um, use the question mark, okay? Because remember that those are questions. So you need to add the question mark. Mm -hmm. Don't forget about that, okay? Those are questions. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be better, you are missing it, eh, Wilbur. Wouldn't it be better, eh, wouldn't it be better to, to, let me see, wouldn't it be better, where, where is yours? Wouldn't, wouldn't, be, 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 wouldn't it be better to travel? Would you prefer to study two hours a week or a study all weekends? Mm, yeah. Would you prefer to walk or run? Yes. Would you prefer to read or to play soccer? Would you prefer to, to rest, probably? To rest, okay? Reset, eh, it's like resetear, right? Reset, so Friday or Sunday, okay? Would you prefer hamburger or tacos? Okay, Nelson. Wouldn't it be better to travel on vacations? Yes, Wilbur. Would you prefer to rest Friday or Sunday? Okay, Sunday with a little Y at the end. Would you prefer to wear shorts or jeans? Okay, 
rest. Very good. Would you prefer to, would you prefer, would you prefer to drive a car or ride a motorcycle? The verbs, Blanca. Would you prefer to celebrate your birth? Would you prefer to celebrate your birthday with a party or to receive or get money? Wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be funny to go to the party? Yes, very good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, guys, um, very good. I think that um, when it comes to grammar, we are okay, but let's see when it comes to speaking, okay? So let's see, um, let me see. All right, perfect. So now we are going to move, okay? And we are going to start practicing those questions. What would you prefer to have? A cat or a dog? I haven't added the words because I need to go ahead and say the words without seeing the words, right? So what would you prefer to have? A cat or a dog? Mm -hmm. Why? I need you to give me reasons, okay? You can say, well, I would prefer to have a cat because I really like that they are independent, right? So I don't need to give food like every um, two hours or three hours, right? And cats are free. I mean, yeah, they come whenever they want, right? But I don't know in your case, right? You can say, I would prefer uh, to have a dog because these and these and these, okay? I need you to give reasons because I want you to speak, okay? Then we are going to move to this. What would you prefer to eat? Fish or meat and why? I need you to give me reasons, yeah? Then what would you prefer to visit? the beach or the mountains and why reasons okay and so on you have around five questions like this okay what would you prefer to buy a cell phone or a computer why okay yeah so we are going to practice with those i need you to please speak as much as you can Okay, so let's move, open the class for the ones that uh, do not have it opened. And I'm going to recreate the rooms. Mm, okay, here we go. I have the, the questions, okay? Mm -hmm. And the first, what would you what would you prefer to have? A dog or a cat? And why? Mm -hmm. I I prefer to have a, a dog because I think they are very funny. And you? Uh, okay. Um, I I have two cats and one dog, mm -hmm. but I prefer um, the cats because it's easier to care than the dog. 
because I always in the morning only uh, I put the the food in one place mm -hmm. and only in the morning, for example. And the next day I always food again, but the dog I need to feed feed it uh, three times, so three times a, a day. Mm -hmm. And you, Nelson? Nelson is busy. That's yes, literally. I think that Nelson okay. is busy. Yeah. So, the next question, I don't have, uh, I don't take the, the screenshot, <laughs> only the first. Okay, let me send the link, okay, uh, from the class, so you can open it. And if you want, there you go, on the chat, okay? Thank you, Lord. Okay. And probably I will send it to the WhatsApp group. Let me uh, okay. Uh, what would you prefer? What What would you prefer to eat? Uh, fish or meat? Mm, I I would prefer to eat uh, meat than fish. So I uh, I like fish too, but I prefer the meat. So uh, fish. Like I prefer to eat fish. I like the seafood. Okay, how about you? Uh, I will prefer to eat a fish because it's more healthy and it's, it's cheaper than meat. Mm. It is healthier. Healthier. Yes. Healthier. And it's cheaper mm -hmm. than meat. And the third... What would you prefer to visit? Beach or mountain? So I prefer visit the mountain because um, I like to climb and, and I like the nature. Nature? Nature, right. In history. History Channel. Yes. How do you say naturaleza, teacher? Nature. 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 Easy peasy. Yes. 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 <laughs> okay. Well, I prefer, I have a problem here now, uh, too, because I like the beach and I like the mountain, too. But if you ask me, in this moment of my life, I prefer the mountain. For what? Uh, because I uh, just a little tired. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, 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 and visit the, the, the beach is more, how do you say, is, is more stronger than, than the, the mountain. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, yes. Yeah, I I really love fish in the in the sea, but but now I I don't have the, a, a time to spell uh, in this practice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't like it. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That's why. Okay. The next question is what would you prefer to buy? Cell phone or computer? And why? Blanca? I prefer buy cell phone. Why? It's more cheaper, the barato. It is cheaper. It is cheaper that computer okay and you Yancy? 
I prefer to buy a cell phone too. And it's because um <clears throat> I like it. I think that we can use easily than mm -hmm. computers because mm -hmm. you can bring cell phones wherever you go and computers just if you have a laptop, right? You can you can bring you can bring it. But if it's not, you just need to be at home if you want to use your computer or at, in your in your office. So that's why I, I prefer to buy a cell phone. What about you? Uh, the same. I prefer to buy a cell phone because the the cell phone have many use, and I can uh, use outside my house and for uh, any activities. Yeah, exactly. And mm -hmm. the next question is, what would you prefer to do? Football or basketball, uh, Blanca? Mm, I prefer basketball because I like it. Basket, football, no. <laughs> Okay. Okay. And you, Yancy? I now I prefer to play basketball because I used to play soccer a couple of years ago, but I fell down in in how do you say it? Me golpearon in past. I don't know. Hit. They they hit me in the back. So I had a lesion. So mm, that's why I don't play soccer no more. So now I prefer to do, I mean, to play uh, basketball instead of playing soccer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you? Uh, I prefer uh, the same. I prefer basketball because uh, I like more. And I can that is more um, a little, the group, the people that play and do you have a, um, a time, como el chance para jugar, no sé cómo decirlo, en cambio en, in the softball, football is more people in some position uh, play a little, no sé si me di a entender. Yes. Okay. This is all. Salvador is coming. So Yay. let's ask him. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Salvador. <laughs> I'm fine. And you? I'm sick. Okay, um, well, mm -hmm. I, prefer, I prefer the, the dog too, because uh, it's more friendly. How do you, what, uh, uh, it's more friendly and and for me it's more easy. It's easy. Uh, it's easier mm -hmm. uh, handle uh, a dog mm -hmm. or, or because for me, I, I think the, the cats are aggressive. Mm -hmm. But it's my my yes. uh, point of view. My point of view, yeah. But do you I, have cats? Uh well <laughs> uh, these days uh we have a, a visit in my house. It's oh. a black kitty. Uh we have a uh, embarrassing time. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. It's, it's pregnant. Okay. Oh, was pregnant because I I can see see it. Uh, two two days. In, it's it's rarely because, uh, the she she was in my door in the morning and the afternoon. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, she had her kitties. I don't know. I hate the cat. I hate it. <laughs> I, I am allergic. You hate cats, Glenda? 
Yes, because when I was a child, mm -hmm. I go to the to buy the tortillas. Mm -hmm. You <laughs> buy? Uh huh. And the cat is was sitting in the chair, mm -hmm. so I'm I'm going. I I was in the chair, the sitting. And when I try to move, just attack. Oh and my God, he attacked you. Yes. And I start to, to, to cry and, and run to my home. And that's really, really hated the cat. Mm -hmm. And yeah. in that moment, I don't touch. I didn't touch the cat. Okay. Because mm -hmm. I'm afraid. Sorry for that. I'm afraid. Okay. Okay. Uh, what would, yeah. No, continue. What would you prefer to eat? Uh, fish or seafood or meat? I would prefer to eat uh, a fish mm -hmm. and because it's healthier than meat. And also the fish uh, is cheaper, cheaper than the meat. Do you think that? And it also is easy to, to cook. To prepare, well, cook, uh -huh. I, I, I think the fish is more pricey, but it's my point of view. Okay. My family uh, have a- It is yeah. correct, Viterian? I'm sorry? Is correct, say, Viterian? What is the pronunciation for veterinary? Bet. Ah, ah, only ah. Uh -huh. or I mean, the short way is vet, but if you want to say the long word is veterinarian, veterinarian, okay, but it's better bet. Yes, it's better bet. Okay, it's better. Okay, uh, the next question, a uh, Karen. Would you, what would you prefer to eat? Uh, meat or fish? I would prefer meat mm -hmm. because I, I afraid, I afraid the fish and I only eat um, long pepper. How do you say? Like salmon, probably? Or... Salmon, they say the lonja. Lonja? Mm, lonja could be... es una parte del pescado. Mm -hmm. It's like, I think that eh, es como un filete. I think. Okay. Yes. Um, you know, in English, es como un fish fillet. Es como un filete de pescado. La lonja en sí, en inglés, es como eh, fish fillet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so uh, I eat only fish fillet. Yeah. Okay. And you, Ana? For me, maybe I prefer to eat uh, meat because uh, I think that uh, I have many uh, types that uh, or forms that I can uh, prepare the meat. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Yes, in my case, I prefer to eat uh, the meat. It is easier to prepare, I think. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. prefer, and fish and is is more expensive than meat. And the mm -hmm. others are more scandalous. <laughs> <laughs> the smell, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and the fish you need to remove the, the, the thorns also. Yes. Mm -hmm. And yes. Um beside the meat and sometimes it's hard the hard the meat. The carne dura you can find out sometimes the that is true. Yes, really? but I prefer that. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, Anna, uh, what yes. would you prefer to eat? Uh, 
prefer to visit? Beach or mountain? For me, I prefer uh, to visit mountain because I don't like the hot weather and the salt. And I prefer to uh, fresh air and walk, walk uh, in the mountain. Walk is correct? Caminar? Yeah, walk. Uh -huh. Walk uh, in the mountain. In the mountain, yes. In the mountain. Yes. And you, Karen? I prefer the mountain too. For Do you have anything, Carlos? What? So, uh, the question, what do you prefer? Beach or mountain? I would prefer mountain. It's very fresh. Really? Yes. Is on uh, the the paradise or how do you say paisaje teacher? The landscape. Landscape. Okay, and the landscape is beautiful. Yes. And you, Edwin? So um in this case I like to visit the bit. Um so I because I when I like the weather on the oh, beach. Really? Yeah. So you like hot weather? Yes, but I like to visit at night. Mm -hmm. And I prefer the to the beach. Okay. Okay, perfect. Well, I think that uh it depends, right? If if you like to go to the beach. Sometimes it's better at night because of the weather, but it's almost kind of warm and hot, right, at the beach. Yes. And in the mountains, um, the weather is going to be fresh, right, kind of cold. So, yeah, it depends. Carlos, in this case, prefers mountains and you, Edwin, the beach. Okay, that is cool. And what would you prefer to buy, guys? A cell phone or a computer and why? Let's see. Uh, let's start with Edwin. Edwin, what would you prefer? A cell phone or a computer? So I prefer the cell phone because it's portable. Okay. Or, okay. And I can have my jeans pocket, but I know the computer is useful. Uh, okay. But I can carry all the time. Mm. But let's say that uh, you have um, a job, right? And you do it from your computer. So in that case, I prefer computer. Yeah. Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay. And you, Carlos, which one do you prefer? What? I prefer a uh, cell phone in my work and my privacy life or vida privada. Uh, private life. Private life. And so the okay. in the work and my house. At the work. At work. Okay. At work and my house. Okay, so you prefer cell phones. Yes. Okay. All right. Yes, that is acceptable. And what about um what would you prefer, guys? Cats or dogs? So in my case, um I like the dog, but I don't have any pet. You don't have any pet? No. Okay. Oh I my don't. god. Okay, okay. And you Carlos? I prefer the dog teacher. I have three dogs. Okay. All right. Oh my God. You don't like cats. Nobody likes cats. 
Uh, no, I don't like. <laughs> okay, and what what would you prefer? Uh, to what would you prefer to do? A uh, play soccer or play basketball? I prefer play soccer. Okay, why? Uh, the uh, training in soccer uh, last 20 years. Mm -hmm. uh, I practice, I practice. Okay, so in this case, you prefer playing soccer because of the training. Uh, yes, I train and practice and uh, play and all, all soccer is my life. You love to play yes. soccer, Carlos. Okay, got it. Okay, and you, Edwin? So in my case, um, I have... I don't have time to play soccer or basketball, and um, I la I prefer um, go to the gym. Okay. To work out. Oh, okay. Mm, you prefer, it. all right. Yeah, going to the gym. Okay, it's okay. All right, guys. Okay, so let's go back to the main room. Okay, let's go back. Let me call you back. Give me one second. Yes, let's go back. Okay, let's continue with our class. Okay, so right here we have a couple of sentences and questions, all right? So we have number one. In number one, as you can see, guys, we have um, some part of the sentences, but we need to arrange them, okay? Because they are uh, they are not organized. So we need to arrange the sentences. So we have number one and we have the example, okay? Would you prefer to have a different schedule? Okay, what about number two? Number two, guys, is... Um, it is a question. Number two is a question. Let's create a question, okay? Let's organize, okay? Let's reorganize all of those parts of the sentence in the correct position. Okay, so let's see. What do you think number two wouldn't is? Eat. Wouldn't eat, okay. Wouldn't eat. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be? Wouldn't it be? Mm -hmm. The mana, no. It would be better to, it would be better to review the manual before printing. Question. It was a question. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't be better to mm -hmm. revise the manual before printing? The question starts with the auxiliary. Which is it. Which is wooden. It is the subject. Um, to okay. re revise. Okay. It wouldn't it, okay. Wouldn't it be to revise? Okay. But you are missing something right there. Uh, uh, uh well 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 it be better to revise okay w wooden okay repeat after wooden. me okay wooden. okay wouldn't it be better to revise okay yes the manual the manual before printing the manual before Printing and question mark, okay, because it is a question, okay? Very good. Yes, well done, okay? Just remember with the questions, they start with the auxiliary, okay? This is the subject. Don't forget about that. 
Number three. Number three is a sentence. It will be good if we change the dress code. We change. Excellent. The dress code. Perfect. That is correct. Awesome. Okay. Now, what about number four? Number four is also a sentence. It will be a good idea it will be a good to idea. have a training manual for chefs. Idea to have a training manual for chefs. Very good. And the last one is a question, okay? The last one is a question. Wouldn't be, wouldn't be better? Wouldn't, wouldn't, okay, wouldn't. Wouldn't be better? Wouldn't be better, okay. To let the manager decide. To let the manager decide. The manager. Would it be better to let the manager decide? Mm -hmm. uh, but you are missing the something. subject. Uh -huh. Will it? Will it be? Will it? Okay. Will it? Uh, it, be will it? Uh -huh. Wouldn't. Okay. Wouldn't. Yeah. Wouldn't. Okay. Wouldn't. Wouldn't. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't. Wouldn't it be better? Uh -huh. Wouldn't it be better? <laughs> Wouldn't it be better? Better. 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 Okay, very good. Anna. Yes, well done. Okay, so you see, it was simple. Okay, it was a piece of cake. It was not difficult. All right, guys, now let's move and let's go ahead and uh, take the listening practice, the listening quiz. Okay, the listening, the listening. Um, let me see. I'm going to send the link right here in the chat, okay? Just for you to not go ahead and, and open the spreadsheet. Uh, the passcode is listening, capital letters, okay? You have it, uh, you have it uh, in the chat. If you want, you can open it from there, okay? Open it. And let me know once you are ready so I can play it. Uh, this one is not difficult, it's easy as well, okay? It's really easy. Okay, let me know, guys, once you are ready. I'm ready. Awesome, thank you, Yancy. Okay, let me know the other ones, okay? I'm ready. Ready? I'm ready. Ready. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So here we go. ¿Quién está listo? Who is not ready? Who is not ready, guys? Well, all of you, I think, are ready. Okay. Here we go. Dad! Yeah, Mikey. Can I have a really good snack? Uh, I don't know. I think it's, uh, what time is it? I think it's going on dinner. Uh, it's 3.30. 3.30. Ah, uh, we better wait. Why, Dad? Well, what kind of snack do you want? Candy. <laughs> no, candy is out. Oh, how about some broccoli? No. Uh, carrots? No. <laughs> well, what else can you suggest? Candy. Candy? No, I don't think. I think you better wait. A sandwich? A spinach sandwich? Spinach sandwich? <laughs> spinach sandwich? <laughs> when did you start liking spinach? Uh... Today. Yeah, what about a small sandwich? Okay. Okay, I'll whip it up in a minute. Play with your toys while you're waiting for it. Okay. Again, okay? The second time. Here we go. And... Okay. Dad! Yeah, Mikey. Can I have a really good snack? Uh, I don't know. I think it's, uh, what time is it? I think it's going on dinner. Uh, it's 3.30. 3.30. Uh, we better wait. 
Why, Dad? Well, what kind of snack do you want? Candy. <laughs> no, candy is out. Oh, how about some broccoli? No. Uh, carrots? No. <laughs> well, what else can you suggest? Candy. Candy? No, I don't think. I think you better wait. A sandwich? A spinach sandwich? Spinach sandwich? <laughs> spinach sandwich? <laughs> when did you start liking spinach? Uh, today. Well, what about a small sandwich? Okay. Okay, I'll whip it up in a minute. Play with your toys while you're waiting for it. Okay, ready? No. Okay, once again, the last time. Okay, here we go. Dad! Yeah, Mikey? Can I have a really good snack? Uh, I don't know. I think it's, uh, what time is it? I think it's going on dinner. Uh, it's 3.30. 3.30. Ah, uh, we better wait. Why, Dad? Well, what kind of snack do you want? Candy. <laughs> no, candy is out. Oh, how about some broccoli? No. Uh, carrots? No. <laughs> well, what else can you suggest? Candy. Candy? No, I don't think. I think you better wait. A sandwich? A spinach sandwich? Spinach sandwich? <laughs> spinach sandwich? <laughs> when did you start liking spinach? Uh, today. Well, what about a small sandwich? Okay. Okay, I'll whip it up in a minute. Play with your toys while you're waiting for it. Okay. Yes, that's right, Jensen. Okay, ready? Yes? Okay. So I can see that you say yes. Okay. So send your, your answers. Submit your answers. Let me see your scores. Okay. Most of you got 80. Most of you. Okay. I just have one 100 right now. Let me see if I have another 100. No, just one. Okay. Let me see. I got Anna. I got Edwin. Okay. All right. Most of you got 80. Was it difficult or it was kind of confusing because of the little boy? A little confused. Confusing, right? It was a little right. bit confusing. Yes. Okay. So don't worry. Then we are still practicing, right? So you are improving and you are going to get better. Okay. I got Cesar. I got Karen. Okay. I got most of you. Okay. So now we are going to make, um, well, a review by taking this quiz. Okay. We are going to take that quiz. And the passcode, the passcode is English in capital letters, okay? The passcode. The ones that are in the spreadsheet is the one that says how many versus how much. Okay, guys. So this is a review, okay? A review about how many and how much. Some topics that we already covered in the previous modules, right? So let's see if you remember, okay? So take it. Take it and let me know once you are done, please. Piece of cake. This quiz is a piece of cake for you. Where it says how many and how versus how much? All right, that one. Okay, cool. Thank you. I didn't select anyone and it showed me zero. Uh, my score is zero percent. Really? Yeah, I didn't, yeah. but I didn't select anyone. Like I was typing the the, the name. Retake it. Retake it. I mean, you mm. just add Yancy Azucena. Just Yancy Azucena and retake. You okay. have your last name. Uh -huh. Okay. Go Raphael. Okay. You see, it was easy, right? I go Anna. Perfect. Okay, I go Ana, Rafael. Okay, excellent.
Let me see who else. Jose Salvador, okay. Mm -hmm. I got Blanca, I got Cesar, Edwin, Raul, okay. Carlos Arias, okay. Jensi, okay, perfect. Carlos Eduardo Durán, okay. Mm -hmm. Susana, okay. Um, okay. I got Glenda. Okay, guys. So right now I'm going to take the attendance once again. Say present, please. Um, Ana Lorena Lovato. Present. Thank you. Andrea Sofia Benitez. Blanca Jennifer Torres. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Carlos Eduardo Torres. Present. Thank you. Carlos Francisco Arias. Present. Thank you. Cesar Homero Amaya. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present teacher. Thank you. Eulice Torres. Fátima Noemi Umaña. Eh, Fátima. Eh, Glenda Toledo. Present. Thank you. Jose Salvador Bernal. I'm here. Thank you. Hosman Atilio Serrano. Present. Thank you, Juan Francisco Salmerón. Karen Lisset Sanchez Castro. Present teacher. Thank you, Catherine Indira. Marlon Oswaldo. Nelson Alberto. Present. Okay. Rafael Alexander Serna. Present. Thank you. Eh, Raúl Ernesto González. Present teacher. Thank you, Rosa del Carmen Enríquez. Rose. Okay, she's in here. Susana Milena Cruz. Present. Thank you. Walter David Diaz. Uh, Wilber Alberto Perez. Present. And Jensia Susana Sanchez. Here I am. Okay, awesome. All right. So right now what we are going to do is the following, okay? We are going to continue with speaking, yeah? We are going to continue with speaking, and right now we are going to move to the following questions, okay? So we have, would you prefer to eat mango or watermelon and why? Would you prefer to study in El Salvador or abroad? Okay, abroad means in other countries, okay? Would you prefer to be poor and happy or rich and unhappy? Mm -hmm. What would you prefer? Mm, that is a really good question. Well, think about it, okay? Then you move to those, okay? What are the advantages of working from home? Mm -hmm. Would you live without a telephone? Describe your dream job. What is your dream job? Mm -hmm. Is the one that you have right now or no? What is your dream job, okay? So we're going to practice with those six, yeah? And then we're going to come back. So right now let's practice. Let me recreate the room. So you are going to practice with a different partner, okay? So here we go.
I will start with uh, mango because okay. it's a uh, it's a uh, more delicious and it's a, a temporary fruit mm -hmm. and that's why we need to to enjoy it when uh, there are mangoes. Okay, so it is a seasonal fruit. Seasonal. Yes. Seasonal. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Very good. You Anna, what do you prefer to eat? Mango? I prefer I prefer to eat a mango. For me, it's more delicious, and that I believe that uh, is. Um, no sé cómo decirlo. You uh, say como uh, maybe is a. Uh, more appetitive. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> okay, I think that uh you want to say like um apetito, appetitoso. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So it is uh appetizing. Ap appetizing. Ap Appet 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 appetizing. Appetizing. Yeah, okay. it is appetizing. You know, there is another uh, adjective which is mouth watering. Okay, cuando algo se le hace. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh, exactly. Watering. Uh, okay, yeah, that is true. Have you tasted it with tajin? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oof, delicious. <laughs> yeah, delicious, right? I love that type of uh, combination. Mango, yeah. tajin. Delicious. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think the same. <laughs> yes. And I think that we are going to have mangoes uh really soon, right? Because it summer is coming, right? Yeah. So I think that we are going to have mangoes soon. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Continue. Okay. And you, Susana, uh, what would you prefer to eat, mango or watermelon? And why? I prefer to eat mango. The same with you <laughs> because it's more delicious than the watermelon, and you can combine colors. You can combine, mix, uh, combine. You can add, add. lemon, uh, salt, picante. Uh -huh. How do you say? Spicy things. Spicy things, yeah. Uh, so that's it. Okay. Okay. Uh, Hello, Blanca. Okay. You are in Raúl. Didn't come. No, ella se salió del del grupo. Oh. Okay. Let me see. No sé si tiene problemas con el internet porque no me escuchaba nada. Okay, so now, Blanca, I'm going to change you, okay? La voy a pasar con la, eh, Ana, con Glenda y con Susana, okay? Las girls. Okay. Let okay. me see. Go. I, you, I, I think bored. you want a Lamborghini, right? I am poor. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I would prefer be very unhappy. <laughs> yeah, 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 I do. Yeah. No, really. The I think the the happiness is really necessary, but you need a uh, a uh, a money too. The I I would prefer a balance between the money and the happiness. But mm. if you only have one option? Mm. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really unhappy now and I'm empowered <laughs> too. <laughs> okay, so then you would like to be rich and unhappy or poor and happy? <laughs> well, uh, if only one thing is available, Huh? Uh, available. Mm. I prefer rich. <laughs> yes, of course, right? Because, yeah, <laughs> I think that it is better to be rich and unhappy. 
Do yeah. you believe? Do you believe, guys, uh, that saying that says, um, that money buys happiness? Not really. No, right. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. But bring unnecessary uh, things. You need to to have a uh, a calm life. Yes, because if you don't have money, how are you going to pay for your things, right? You need to eat. You need to pay your house, services. Yes. <sighs> well, I think that, as you said before, a balance, right? There, they should, there should be a balance. But in this case, just because of the question, I would prefer to be rich and unhappy as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, right? There yeah, is yeah. no other option. Okay. All right. Good practice, no romantic. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Okay. okay. What are the advantage? Advantage? Advantages? Advantages of working from home. Mm -hmm. From home. What do you think, Salvador? Uh I I can, I can eat better. Yes, of course, Salvador. That is an advantage. Okay, mm -hmm. that sounds good. Not is my case, but it sounds good. You can wake up <laughs> kind of late right maybe 15 or 20 minutes before your journey starts right yes. so um, there is uh, yeah, there are some advantages mm -hmm. yeah you don't waste uh if you you try you yeah. you don't waste any gasoline or, or, or time oh. Is is a big advantages. Yes, because right mm -hmm. now the traffic jam is so terrible, mm -hmm. guys. The traffic jam is so terrible, right? So probably you you need to spend around two hours in traffic. Wow, yes. two hours yeah. is a lot of time. Two hours, or sometimes only, three. Only for go to the your work or or go to the war and go back to the home? Just to go to work and then another two hours and a half to come back home. That's I mean, support. yeah, I, I, uh, let's see that I have spent right. around right. six hours just in traffic. Six hours. <laughs> wow, that's, uh, that's a quarter of the day. Imagine. Yeah, mm. it's a lot of time. It's terrible. <clears throat> and you what what do you think carlos um my work is in 10 minutes from my, my house uh not <laughs> different yes Love i walk you, carlos i walk uh to my work awesome that is excellent i wish i had your your job yes <laughs> uh, i don't no gasto en pasaje I don't waste. Yeah. I don't waste money. Okay. I don't spend yes. money. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, could you live without a telephone? Mm -hmm. Yes, I can. Yeah. What do you do? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Podría, pero no puedo. <laughs> Uh, ah, okay. If right, you, so I could. Yeah. yeah, the same case. If I, I decide, I throw the, the cell phone, but not is possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not and possible, you, right? Yeah. yeah. You, yeah, Carlos. Uh, in my job, not use my cell phone. Yes. 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 All right. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Perfect. Ah, 
you work uh, a machinery, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, describe your dream job. Mm -hmm. Well, my my dream job is is a soccer um, player place player soccer soccer player yes for my my years is oh. I I thirty one years old oh. mm -hmm. my my dream is Se va, se va, se va. Se fue. Sorry, man. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it is <laughs> gone. It is gone. Yes. Ah, yeah. Carlos, okay. But you can be a, a trainer. Uh -huh, train. Yes. It's, I it's train, a second. Training uh, all days. Okay. Yeah. It's a second opportunity in your life. Yes. yes. Yeah, being yeah. a trainer. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And you, Salvador, what is your dream and job? Necesito ayuda. ¿Cómo se dice lo siguiente? Okay. El trabajo ideal es cuando descubres el propósito de Dios para tu vida y haces aquello. ¿Dice? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, el trabajo ideal. Mm -hmm. The perfect Job, ajá, el trabajo ideal es aquel, repeat. El you trabajo ideal es aquel que descubres el propósito de Dios para tu vida. Okay. Lo, All right, so yes. So uh, the perfect job is mm -hmm. when you find uh -huh. God's uh, purpose Cuando descubres el proceso de Dios. Y for your life. For your life. And. Y lo disfrutas. And you enjoy it. Y lo haces. And you do it. Por yeah. ejemplo. For example. Usted, teacher, usted disfruta oh. su trabajo. <laughs> ya descubrió el, el, el propósito de Dios para su vida. Yes. Actually, I do enjoy my job. Mm -hmm. Yes. Se nota. Yes, <laughs> I love my job. Yes, <laughs> yes. So I think that I have my dream job already. Yeah. yeah. What about you? Good. For me? Yes. Well, my dream job is connected with my career, but mm -hmm. I'm not going, I, I'm not doing uh, my, I don't practice my career in my actually in my in job. Current, current job. In my current mm -hmm. job. Oh, really? Yeah. And, and what is your career? Uh, I am mechanical engineer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And my dream job is uh, investigations. Investigation. Okay. Mm -hmm. But in the Salvador, is, that is I very a strange, uh, stranger uh, company. Offered that position. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Associate mm -hmm. people. But um mm -hmm. I don't don't lose my 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 dream. Mm -hmm. uh, perhaps in the future I can do it what I yes. I want. Mm -hmm. Uh now I I really happy with my Current job is good too. Okay. Well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, of course, you're going to find the opportunity, right? Who knows? Who knows? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Sure. And you, Salvador, what is your dream job? Uh, my, lo que hago actualmente. Oh. ¿Cómo se dice eso? Oh, um, my... What I'm currently doing, what I'm, what I am, I am, what I am currently, currently, currently doing, doing, yes. Mm -hmm. 
Perfect. Okay. Uh, scroll down. Yes, yes. Okay. What do you usually order when you go to a restaurant? I think this question we have. Yeah. In, uh, in the previous one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What foods do you hate? Hamolacha. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god really but don't be so delicious yeah, it's the worst thing <laughs> of the creation no come on it is so delicious Rafael delicious I mean no, with teacher. lemon I'm sorry so I'm delicious. sorry I, I understand you but <laughs> I don't think that <laughs> okay you know uh, it is really healthy for your blood for your blood, right? For la sangre, it's so healthy. I understand you. <laughs> but you don't like it. <laughs> but I don't like it. Okay. And you, Salvador, what foods do you hate? That you said, no, I don't like that. I I hate, I hate uh, onions. Onions, okay. Nah. I don't like this. The the onion is good for the eyes. For the eyes? Yes. Really? No, they make you cry. <laughs> yes. No, for <laughs> para la vista. Really? Yes. I didn't know that, Carlos. Yes, it is. Nice. Yes. The the onion contains a uh, vitamin A. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's good to know. All right, guys. So uh, time is over. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. Let's go back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sure. okay. okay. Thank you, guys. Okay. Bye bye. See you. See you. Okay. So we are done with today's class. Uh, we are going to wait for the other ones to just join. Okay. And from those two, which one would you prefer, um, Rafael, mango or watermelon? Well, I prefer the mango. I think it's more sweet it's, okay. and delicious, delicious. Oh, than watermelon. Yes, that is true. Um, and you, Salvador, which one do you prefer? In this case, uh, would you prefer to eat mango or watermelon? Uh, I prefer... To eat a mango. Mango? Okay. Mango, mango. Mango, mango. Yes. All right. And would you prefer to study in El Salvador or abroad, eh, Anna? Abroad, abroad. I know you said abroad. All right. Yes, I think that it is better, right? Of course, to study abroad. Okay, guys, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here and I'll see you back tomorrow. Let me just ask, uh, is Fatima Noemi right here? Fatima? Well, I think I know. She's not here. Glenda, please stay with me, okay? Glenda, please stay with me. Then the other ones, you may go ahead and rest, guys. Go ahead and sleep, okay? I hope you have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, guys. Uh, okay, Glenda is there. Okay, uh, Glenda. So we are going to have the feedback time, okay? I would like to know a little bit about you and I would like to ask you a couple of questions, okay? So first of all, I would like to ask you if you feel comfortable with having the feedback in English or in Spanish, or if we do it in Spanish, right? Spanish and English. So which one do you think is, is better for you? Uh, English, <laughs> I try to, to do it. I love that. Okay, Glenda, tell me about you, okay? Tell me about yourself. I would like to know who is Glenda, okay? Uh, tell me um, how long have you been studying English? Tell me what do you think about our classes? Tell me about our 
uh, dynamic during our class in this module. Uh, tell me what topics do you think that are really difficult for you? Any type of questions that you have, you can also ask me, okay? But I would like to know about you and uh, the English in general, right? What do you think about that? Okay. Um, I started to study English when I was child. Um, but when I started the university, my career as is was the lingua. But I recognize my difficulty is to have a fluency to speak mm -hmm. and apply grammar. This is my difficult, but I try to to practice to listen to music in English mm -hmm. and memorize the rulers. Okay. But really? I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Now, what do you think about our classes? Okay. Do you like our classes? Would you like me to um, probably include something else? Or uh, are you okay with our classes? What observations do you have, etc.? cetera? Um, yes, I prefer online classes because you, you don't waste the time and money to, to go to the other places. Okay. And when I start to in for English, yes. um, I was boring by your classes are very dynamic and I guess that I'm practicing my fluency in my vocabulary and they are very nice and congratulations to you. Okay, thank you, Glenda. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Okay, Glenda. So, um, you know, the main purpose of our English classes are, first of all, that you speak, right? Then that you learned, of course, but um, I would say that we all need to develop fluency, as you said before, because sometimes we have a lot of grammar and grammar rules, but what happened with your speaking, right? So in this case, we try to get that balance, okay? And we try to incorporate different activities in which you speak, because uh, this is intermediate one, and you will see that intermediate two is even um, I would say more difficult than this one because uh, the vocabulary, because of uh, uh, the grammar topics are kind of difficult. But uh, yeah. since you have a base right now that you are already like, um, you know, um, maybe making the effort of participating a lot, you will see that then the other levels are going to be easier for you. Okay. So I'm really happy that you feel our classes dynamic, right? That you enjoy our classes, that you feel good with our classes because I know that sometimes we all are tired because I know that you all come from work, right? And that is very understandable, right? That you feel tired, that sometimes probably you don't feel like with the, um, like connecting, right, to classes because you are tired and it's okay. But um, I would like to say thank you because you have been really, really, really responsible. And even though sometimes you probably connect a little bit, uh, not late, but probably like 10 minutes after the class, right, started and so on, you are always there and you are participating, which is the most important thing that you participate, right? So try to be on time, okay? Try to be on yes, time. Yes, yes. Sometimes I... I... I'm now tight because I I have my grandma thing and I need to dejarla como dormida, acostada. So I have a dinner, see, seven thirty or before, and then I'm I connect. Okay. That's why. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, you know, what I can recommend you, and, and this, this is just because of the attendance, right? Just because of the attendance, what I can recommend you is that um, probably you can join the, the class. I mean, a log in on, on Zoom and just leave sure. your camera and your microphone off, right? And I will know that you are busy, right? Once you are available, you can turn on your camera because you always do it. So I will know that you are there already, okay? So that's okay. what you can do in order for you not to lose those minutes, right, for the attendance. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay. So now let me ask you, do you have any type of questions about the platform, about the topics that we have covered, something that is not clear for you? 
Um, no, the, the last weekend I I done all activity with my dog. But now I I know that the Friday is the last day to do the activity. Okay. And, and also to explain the topics. And that's why I'm waiting to and Friday or maybe before I do the activity, but everything is clear. Okay, perfect, Linda. Now the last question I have for you, Glenda. Um, what is the main purpose of you learning English? Um, my first purpose is uh, to have uh, other work, the part-time, um, because I, I love to learn English and I love to practice. Mm -hmm. And I have the other opportunities because um, I'm teacher is my salary is, is, is little and mm. I want to to hire the other work oh okay okay so you are a teacher yes I'm oh, really? okay <laughs> which subject do you teach a uh, preschool it's, oh really yeah. okay okay that is that is good all right perfect okay yes, in the classroom I have a uh, two two girls little girls that the parents talk in English and we, we talk about in English and um, I'm surprising because they, she has a fluent in English and it's very nice that so kind and muy pequeñita and speaking English and yes. that's uh, interesting to, to speak fluency. <laughs> yes, that is correct. Okay, well, I'm happy that you are with uh, this type of students, right? Because that makes you feel um, more motivated, right? To learn the language, right? And you listen to, to English every single day and that is yeah. really good then, okay? So that is really nice, okay? All right. So then Glenda, uh, feedback, um, the feedback that I have for you is that, that I have always uh, seen you motivated, right? You are always participating and that is awesome, okay? You always participate. When I say that um, I need your, your participation, you are always there and that is good, okay? So keep, Keep um, doing that, okay? Uh, do not lose motivation, okay? Try to keep motivated. You know, English is a beautiful language, right? Yeah. And it is not complicated. The only thing is that, of course, sometimes we don't have like the vocabulary, but you are getting it right now. So at some point you will see that it is going to be easy for you to speak and you will see that your fluency is going to improve. Okay, but that is with the time, right? So you are going to reach your goal, okay? Do not lose your motivation. Uh, keep doing what you are doing. Be that responsible girl right now. And well, I'm really thankful for um, actually joining the classes, right? And for your responsibility, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, so perfect. We are going to stop right here, uh, Glenda, and I'll see you back tomorrow, okay? Okay. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Have a good night. Thank bye bye. You. bye, -bye.